Now we come to the tribunal. The question really is what kind of powers are needed and how we make the processes work? Mr. Pillay and Mr. Ong asked Louis Ong, how do we select and appoint members of the tribunal and the rules that will be set out, including whether the tribunal will provide written reasons for their decisions? Mr. Zulkanen asked if there are safeguards to ensure that the tribunal does not disclose information they have access to during the proceedings. The reviewing tribunal will be a standing tribunal. There will be a few discrete and fixed panels set up. Members will be selected for the areas of expertise. They will have to undergo security vetting uh, because they will be receiving highly classified, highly, highly confidential information. There must be people with experience and standing, just like any other tribunals or independent committee, like the ISA advisory board. Members will be given the same protection and privileges as a Supreme Court judge and they must protect secret information under the Official Secrets Act. Mr. Pillay raised the concern on separation of powers and suggested consulting Chief Justice for the appointment of the chairperson rather than for the cabinet to advise the president. While it is not written in law, that is the way Supreme Court judges are appointed to panels, that we consult the Chief Justice and he suggests some names. I have spoken with the Chief Justice uh, to suggest some names. We will work out the specific rules for the tribunal in the coming months as subsidiary legislation. These rules will be public. Some broad principles. The government will have to present the evidence to convince the tribunal. Tribunal will have powers to call witnesses and compel the production of documents. Uh, information will be disclosed to the appellant to the extent that it's not sensitive from a national security perspective. The tribunal can take an inquisitorial approach when the information cannot be given to the appellant, and tribunal will decide whether to uphold or overturn directions. Mr. Zolkanen asked about uh, the expeditious proceedings of the tribunal. Tribunal can consolidate and hear similar appeals as a single case, or they can take one case as a reference point that will apply to other similar cases. They can also dismiss frivolous or vexatious appeals. Rules of the tribunal will be set out in subsidiary legislation, and the key features will be drawn from reviewing bodies in other laws. 